Okay, and now we'll take a quick look and uh, see what's inside the box and what you get. So here we are. I remember when I got the Monster Beetle, it had this kind of divider in it. Um, don't have that box anymore, funnily enough, because that was from when I was a kid and it was like years ago. But um, yeah, you don't always see these dividers. A uh, couple things before we get going. I did buy like the, the the proper paint for this, so the PS5 Tamiya paint. Uh, and then also, as I always do, I've got the uh, the metal ball bearing. So when I bought this, I kind of did a little bit of a, an upgrade and got the odds and ends that we needed. So this is the kind of the uh, the, the soft flexi. I think they're like polycarbonate body shell that you have to cut out, which oh, I hate cutting these out, uh, but you just have to take your time and have a lot of TLC. So there's the, the body shell. Here is the chassis. So it is like classic bathtub style and you just strap everything to it. I imagine there are, well, hopefully not any weak or failure points on this. If the chassis goes, then you're in trouble. So there's the chassis. Spoiler. And then in this little section here are all the kind of the metal work and odds and ends. So there's your, your front bumper. That is a standard 540 silver cam motor, and I think this is the this is the the one what makes the Hornet different. One of the things that makes it different to the Grasshopper is this is a bigger motor. I think the Grasshopper is a smaller motor. This is a 540. Um, and then we have got, let's see, some shocks, some springs. I believe these are oil field rear shocks sprung only at the front, but all that can be confirmed uh, when I get more into the build. Gearbox, nice big gear, various odds and ends there. And then we have oh, more gears. Here's the uh, plasticky, rubbishy ball bearings. They won't even be come out of the bag and then we get all the parts bags which when I do the build I'll unbox and sort and do all these but four parts bags A, B, C and D and then we'll get to that in a moment this is the driver I don't always put the drivers in the cars because I don't trust myself to do them justice, but this guy is very prominent in the Hornet, so maybe we'll have to give it a go. They're the side, the side bumpers, I think. There, so that's that's that. Wheels. Love the tires. Um, if you can see them, I'll get them out at some point. But studded rear tires and then like sand rail front tires. Not loads and loads of bits, there's not much to this kit, so this is going to be suspension, suspension, servo savers, there, that is gearbox, that's definitely gearbox, um, and some other rods and ends, so there's not many parts, stickers, which again, will all have to be lovingly cut out, and then if we have a little look, as usual inside, instructions, and I'll look at this when we do a bit of the build, but start with a gearbox, which isn't uncommon. And what are we looking at here? 29 steps. So there we go, that is the Tamiya Hornet unboxing and uh, I hope I'll be able to get the build going soon.